You know, each year our ministry conducts two retreats for pastors and their spouses in New England. And at the retreat, we divide the attendees into small prayer groups led by someone from outside New England. Well, a few years ago, we concluded the retreat by having the prayer group leaders wash the feet of the men and women who attended. And when the retreat ended, I heard a pastor weeping. So I walked over to the pastor and he told me what happened. Two years earlier, he and his wife planted a church in a small New England town, a town without any gospel witness, and it now seemed their efforts failed. In fact, the Sunday before the retreat, only three people were in his service, and he said that Sunday afternoon, all he could think was what a failure he was. He said it was as though God didn't know where he was or who he was. In fact, he said that he consciously thought, Lord, you probably don't even know my name. But at the retreat that year, our guest preacher and his prayer group leader was Dr. Steve Gaines, the senior pastor of one of the largest churches in America, the Bellevue Baptist Church in Memphis, Tennessee. He said, Phil, as Dr. Gaines was washing my feet, the Holy Spirit whispered in my ear, son, you may be the pastor of the smallest church in America, but I've got the pastor of one of the largest churches in America washing your feet, and you think I don't even know your name. Well, today you may feel like a failure, but believe me, he knows where you are and he knows your name. So be encouraged, and I will see you tomorrow.